Hi everybody. Thank you so much for joining us in celebrating the Pride Month and joining this very important conversation around creating an inclusive and a respectable workplace for everyone. I'm sure we'd all agree that most major organizations today have the framework and policies as well as the best practices to cater to a very diverse workforce. But what I truly do believe is that at the end of the day, it comes down to the people like you and me to help make a real difference in the lives of so many of our friends from the LGBTQIA plus community. So today, I will also talk a bit about allyship aspect, because I do believe that we need more and more allies today more than ever. As an ally myself for many years now, I've come to realize that allyship is neither a title nor an identity. Rather, it's a journey of continued learning. It goes back to developing a true understanding of the LGBTQIA plus community, their history, terminology, as well as making those very conscious efforts to be respectful and inclusive in the everyday exchanges. More so because discrimination is not always obvious. It is not always a physical or a verbal attack. Discrimination can take many forms, such as restrictions to healthcare, education, information, or even personal benefits. At SAP, we take great pride in empowering our peers from the community to be their true authentic selves, with offerings like insurance coverage for same-sex partners, support for gender affirmation surgery, employee assistance program for people from the community as well as their families, as well as also having gender neutral washrooms across our campuses. As more and more LGBTQIA plus peers embrace their sexual and gender identity, forward thinking and innovative workplaces need to ensure that all colleagues, irrespective of their sexual or gender orientation, have the security of a safe and a welcoming workplace. Something as simple as integrating inclusive language, using gender neutral terms without making assumptions while meeting new people goes a really long way in overcoming microaggression at work and also offers the LGBTQIA plus colleagues the space to be their true authentic selves. The India chapter of Pride at SAP runs sensitization sessions on the use of correct terminology respecting different identities and different forms of expression at work and allyship. In addition to this, SAP also has a gender neutral hiring process, equal pay, equal opportunity, that has really helped us create an inclusive workplace over the years. But like I said earlier, creating an inclusive workplace is a continuous journey, one that requires empathy, passion, and inclusive mindsets more than just policies and frameworks. So I would invite all of our viewers to do today to be an ally of the LGBTQIA plus community and get a better understanding of their perspectives. The world absolutely needs more kindness today. Let's all make sure we do our bit. Thank you very much for joining us.